A horse heart beats 132 times in three minutes. About how many times does a horse's does it beat in one minute? So if three minutes it does 132, about how much is it if you do one minute? So you can use compatible numbers to estimate because the question says about how many times we can estimate, so we can use compatible numbers. Here, look, I give you a definition again of compatible numbers. Numbers that are easy to compute mentally. So for this one, if we want to think of a number that is compatible with 132, and, uh, 132 divided by 3 and close to 132, we can think of the number 13. What's close to 13 that's divide, divisible by 3? Think for a moment, I want everybody thinking. What number is close to 13 that's divisible by 3? Okay, what do you guys think? 12. 12. 12 is close to 13 and is divisible by 3. So we can do 120 divided by 3, which we were doing yesterday. So you guys already know how to do that. 120 is how many tens? I want you to think about the answer before you say a number. Eyes on me when you have an answer. 120 is how many tens? Okay, how many tens? 12. It is 12 tens. 12 divided by 3 equals what number? 4. Four. So 12 tens divided by 3 equals how many tens? 4, Four tens. This is just like yesterday's homework. So 120 divided by 3 equals 4 tens, which equals how much? 40. 40. There you go. So if we're going to be estimating and we see that word about, we can find a compatible number that's going to be easy for us to divide. Did we round 132 to, to the nearest number? Yes. No. no. We didn't because if we rounded 132 to the nearest 10, what would we round it to? 130. 130. So we didn't round it to the nearest number to make it easy to divide by. But we rounded it, to, but we put it at a compatible number. We used a compatible number, so it's a number that's close, but um, but it's not a rounding. So a horse, a horse's heartbeat beats about 40 times per minute. Okay. Nope, not yet. We'll do example two first. Example two: use compatible numbers to find two estimates. Two estimates. Estimate, sorry, that the quotient is between. This is kind of like we did in lesson 4-1, where we were saying it was between this number and this number. So 1,382 divided by 5. What are two numbers that are close to 1,382 that are divisible by 5? So you would go one down and one up. So what's the number... Close to 13, if you go down, that you can divide by 5. Preston. That's if we go up. What if you go down? Down from 13. 1,000. Right? Because 13, you can take that down to 10, correct? And you can do 10 divided by 5. So we'll take this number down to 1,000. divided by 5 because that divides easily. And if we take it up, 13 up to a number that divides by 5 is divisible by 5. What number can we go up to? I want you to think about it and then raise your hand. What number can we go up to from 13 that is divisible by 5? Count by 5s, right? 5, 10, 15. Is 15 close to 13? Yes. yes. So we'll use 15. So 1,500 is divided by 5 is a basic fact that is going to work for us. Okay. So if we do 1,000 divided by 5, how many hundreds is that? Think first before you start saying it out loud. How many has hundreds are right here? Raise your hand when you know. We did this yesterday, so I, should, I shouldn't see the blank faces. How many hundreds are there? Okay, how many hundreds? There's 
ten hundreds, right? We can do this. Ten, and then we see the two zeros. That tells us two hundred, um, ten hundreds. Ten hundreds divided by five equals how many hundreds? Two. 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 Ten divided by five is two. Two hundreds, or what will that number look like? Two hundred. Okay. So now doing this one, we have fifteen hundred is how many hundreds? Two. I just told you. Fifteen hundreds is how many hundreds? Fifteen. Fifteen hundreds divided by five is going to be how many hundreds? Two. Two, three, five. Three. I want you guys to think. I want you to think. That means stop talking. Thank you. Fifteen divided by three. Raise your hand when you know. What is fifteen divided by three? Uh, divided by five. Three. I told you the answer. All right, three hundreds, or what does that look like as a number? Three. Three. Zero, zero. Okay. So we can say one thousand three hundred and eighty-two divided by five is between these two numbers, because it's at least two hundred, but it's not more than three hundred, because we went down for this one and up for this one. So you should have been estimating 1,718 divided by 4. So what number is close to, seven, 1, 000, or close to 17 that can be divisible by 4? What did you guys try for this one? Just one person. Rachel, what did you get? 1,600. Very good. And what did you get that's close to 17 on the upper end that's divisible by 4? Ronnie. 2,000. Okay? So on this one we're using 16 divided by 4, and on this one we're using 20 divided by 4. 16 divided by 4 is? 4. So 16 hundreds divided by 4 is? 4 hundreds. I don't know why it does it that way. 400. Oh, divided by 4 is 400, and so 17 divided by 4 is about 400. I don't know why it didn't give you the other one to work with. You could say between, if we wanted to do between, we would say 20 divided by 4 equals what? 5, right? So 500, or um, 2,000 divided by 4 equals... Good, Angelie. 500. So it would be five, between 400 and 500. So we can do the between that way also.